Manuel Matty Maroon was an American billionaire businessman born in 1927 in Detroit to a Lebanese family. He passed away in 2020 at the age of 93. Maroon was known for his ownership of the Ambassador Bridge, an international crossing connecting Detroit, Michigan and Windsor, Ontario. He also had a controlling stake in Universal Truckload Services, Inc., a holding company for several over-the-road truck lines and logistic companies, and formerly owned the Roosevelt Warehouse and Michigan Central Station. Maroon took over his father's small cartage business and built it into a trucking and real estate empire. He purchased the Ambassador Bridge from the Bauer family in 1979, and his ownership led to numerous controversies and legal battles, including a protracted legal fight to delay the construction of the new Gordie Howe International Bridge, which ultimately failed in 2021. The Gordie Howe Bridge is currently under construction and set to open in 2024 or 2025. The planned twin bridge, proposed by Maddie Maroon, faced years of dispute with the Canadian government. A permit was granted in 2017, giving the company a five-year window to begin construction of a new six-lane cable-stayed bridge next to the existing 93-year-old Ambassador Bridge. However, the permit expired in August 2022, as the company failed to meet the required conditions. Part of the agreement stated that the Ambassador Bridge would be torn down within five years after the new span opened to traffic, which could be challenging due to its designation as a historic landmark in the U.S. Despite the controversies and legal battles, Maroon's legacy includes his efforts to keep the bridge running seamlessly for years and his contributions to the trucking industry. Matty Maroon was a prominent figure in the business world. Known for his ownership of the Ambassador Bridge and the legal battles he faced to maintain his monopoly over truck traffic between Detroit and Windsor. His son, Matthew Maroon, has been involved in managing the diversified holdings and workings to improve the public image of the companies controlled by the Maroon family. After the vaccine mandate protest that disrupted the bridge for six days, delaying the transport of billions of dollars in goods, Matthew Maroon expressed a willingness to collaborate with Canada to modernize the aging Ambassador Bridge and safeguard cross-border trade. The bridge, which is 93 years old, has been undergoing significant upgrades, including the replacement of the road deck, railings, electrical system, and support cables. Despite these improvements, regular inspections are essential to ensure its structural safety. The construction of the new Gordie Howe Bridge is expected to alleviate traffic on the Ambassador Bridge and spur regional growth, while the latter will continue to serve as a vital link between Windsor and Detroit for the foreseeable future. Manuel Maroon's role in the bridge's history has been controversial, as he has fiercely defended his control over cross-border traffic, even facing legal challenges. I hope you enjoyed this brief look into the history of Manuel Matty Maroon and his ownership of the Ambassador Bridge. 
please like and subscribe to support these informational videos. Thank you for watching. My name is Bob Jones, and I will see you in the next video.